So, with the new Criminal Enterprise pack uh, just dropping, it is currently 6.28 in the morning where I live, and, you know, it just dropped 28 minutes ago, that means. So, there are a lot of changes that come with this uh, update, and I'm going to be explaining uh, each and every one of them with details, so stay tuned. Let's get into this video. Alright, so, with this new update, there are a lot of things, and one of them being the podium car. So the podium car for this week did change. It is now the uh, the Reaper. It kind of looks like a Lamborghini. And I, the reason it's not there for me currently is because I did win it off the podium uh, wheel first try whenever you're out in the game. So we're going to go ahead and show you that now. So uh, as we're pulling in here, What's you can that? see that it comes in the stock gasoline uh, classic color. Um, there are lots of, uh, you know, cool customizations with it, um, these are just the basic ones. If you have an Arena Workshop, you can put custom colored, uh, headlights on it. Um, as always, the neon kits, uh, the spoilers, uh, they're not really too cool. They're just kind of, uh, all carbon. Uh, but the suspension, obviously you can lower it down. Turbo, you can put on wheels you know just the uh, average wheels it's nothing too really special for a uh, car but this is the new podium car um if you guys didn't already know this don't try and sell it because you will not get anything because it is a podium car so do not try and sell it for money um you won't get anything but uh with that being said let's check out some other stuff for this update so first off what i find very helpful is in legendary motorsports what they did was they actually made like tabs to um you know, see what kind of car you're looking for. Like, if you're looking for a special, like, um, you know, like a, you know, like a Progen PR4, D-Class DR1, anything like these. Just the, um, all of these type of cards, you go to special. Motorcycles is pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, but, you know, the, that's, that, that's one of the, uh, parts of the update to Legendary Motorsports. We got, uh, the four-door and two doors yep that just all has its own categories now so that's really cool but if we go over to featured we can actually see the new cars that came with the criminal enterprise pack or not the pack the update my bad so you we did get i think two or three brand new cars for legendary motorsports we got the benefactor lm87 it comes in the average you know stock customization cars or colors and you can like color it you know own but um yeah this is a one seater so i might be buying this i think i'm going to but i'm not going to be buying any of the cars on this thing i'm going to be making a separate video reviewing all the cars and buying all of them but um yeah this is this car and then if we go back down we got another criminal enterprise um update car and it is the toro xo now i don't really like this one it looks a lot like the uh reaper car that's on the podium but um if you guys like it just go ahead and you can buy it if you want but um it actually is a two-seater so if you do you know have a friend or something yeah but if we you know sort by price going down the only uh the only car that i really really like from this uh is probably this one it is the Corusita, I think is how you pronounce it. It is a two-seater, and I really like this, so I'm definitely going to be buying this. But, um, yeah. There are, there's another four-seater. Um, it is the OB Ominous E GT. And, it, you know, has the stock colors that you can have it. And this one kind of looks really cool. Um, I do like the design on it a lot. And, yeah, so that's a four-seater. So if you have, you know, three other friends, you can... Uh, just cruise around on that, and I don't think there's really any, you know, other, yep, no, no other on Legendary Motorsports, so that's all for Legendary Motorsports, um, all, like, the basic things, one one-seater, I think maybe two two-seaters, and there's one four-seater on, uh, you know, the criminal enterprise for Legendary Motorsports, so, uh, let's get into Southern San Andreas. So for Southern San Andreas, I was actually kind of sad because there is only one um, car for it, and it is the Bravado Greenwood. Uh, it does look really, really cool. I love the style of it, and it's only 1465000 without trade price. So with trade price, you get it from the... ULP intelligence to unlock a trade price for this vehicle. I will be explaining uh, how to do that and later um, But yeah, this is the car, but uh, yeah, 
that's it for Southern San Andreas. So let's go to another one. So the only one for um, Elite Test Travel uh, is the Con Conada, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, it is just a simple helicopter. Um, it is just you know just a normal you know cool helicopter. And the you know buy now price is two million four hundred fifty thousand. Again, for the trade price is the uh, ULP missions, which I will um, explain later in the video. But uh, this is um, you know the helicopter, and you know it comes with this um, stock color, and you can't really have any like customizations for all the planes. But uh, yeah, let's get into the next site. So uh, you know when you get to this uh, big U on the map. It should be labeled UL paper. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get um, on the yellow circle, and there it will put you into an active mission that is, I think, with other people. We're about to find out. I have not played this yet, so I am learning with you guys. But yeah, you're gonna want to go to the big U on the map, and then just let it load. Right, so it should have put you into a um, lobby, it doesn't matter if it's with yourself or just with someone else, but you're just going to want to pick any outfit and hit ready to play. Um, yeah, it's just going to be, it's just a mission, it's kind of like Simeon, it's kind of like anything else. Okay, so after that plays out, it's going to put you in a mission. You're going to need to get in this car from the new update, which, um, you know, you get to test drive it, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here, uh, me driving there. So, um, whenever I'm, you know, done uh, fast forwarding it, I will be there, and yeah, I will wish you guys back. Alright, so we are uh, heading up on the place to where um, we need to go, so we're going to go ahead and park the car, get out of it, and we're just going to want to go up to this yellow circle, you know, like general. So, uh, this whole mission, you're just going to want to do uh, what it tells you to do. So, uh, like in this, right now, we're going to need to find a computer or whatever. Uh, so, I will go ahead and fast forward. So you're going to need to do this little uh, letter hack, it's not that hard, you're just going to wait till the letter comes up and then just hit A on it. And it's just going to tell you what to do, so, there we go, and then you're just going to run a run out. Alright, so we are back outside. And I don't know what happened to my car exactly, but <laughs> uh, you're just going to want to go to these different letters and see which ones are closer. Alright, so, you know, you're probably going to want to go to A, then B, because, you know, those are just the um, options that are closer. But I'm going to fast forward while I get to A.
Alright, so it's gonna tell you to um, come get these outfits. So you're just gonna want to drive to these little uh, white figures on the map and just collect one of the outfits. Oh, crap. Just gonna want to hit uh, right on D pad to change clothes. That might vary depending on what console you're on. I'm not sure. Um, but then you're gonna want to uh, go to a. And I am not gonna fast forward this because it is a right. Oh, crap. Uh, it is right next to us. So you're just gonna want to go to A or B or whichever whichever one you went to first. Um, you're just gonna want to go to that letter. All right. <clears throat> so once you're here, um, it's gonna tell you to search the FIB uh, sites for hardware. You're just gonna want to go in. And it's okay. gonna, you know, probably tell you to go to like the elevators or whatever. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this here uh, until I find the hardware. So I have been alerted, and um, you're not supposed to actually be alerted, but that's all right because if you do get alerted, you're just gonna want to fight your way through here. And I'm going to fast forward me fighting my way through here because it might get a little boring. And whenever we do find the um, device, I will un uh, fast forward it. Alright, so uh, we are near B and I finally lost the cops. That was quite a hassle, so um, don't make the same mistake I did whenever I was um, doing the A because that was, whew, that was a little difficult for one mission. But we're heading up on B now and uh, I'm going to take this back alleyway, hopefully I can get to it. And yes I can, alright, awesome. So, you just want to go to B. And it should tell you. Hmm. Alright, so we're just gonna go inside of it. And there's gonna be another two pieces of hardware in here. Alright, so we got the average, uh, what do you call it? The average, like, alarm clock tone. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward, um, from here of me trying to find these because it's, eh, it, it took a while last time. So, yeah, I'm gonna fast forward now. And we got both things. So, uh, yeah, obviously when you get both things, just head right back out. And there's probably going to be some cops waiting for me. Um, I hope there isn't, but if there is, yep. So we're going to go ahead and hop in this car and try not to die. Alright, and I'm going to start fast forwarding um, to the time that I actually get close to the drop off. Alright, so we are um, pretty uh, close to where we need to drop the stuff off. And I'm just going to walk around here because why not. And yeah, so you need to deliver the hardware to the uh, drop off after you are done with... Um, the mission and you have all four FIB hardware and I'm pretty sure this mission is just one of many missions but um yeah delivered for FIB hardware and I'm just gonna let this cutscene um play out So you get $32,000 uh, from it, 
and you get 7,430 XP. And I did that on easy just to show you the lowest amount you can get. So it only goes higher from there. So that's a pretty good payout for just that. Um, the first part was kind of hard, but um, from there on out, it's pretty easy. So now let's get and do some new things from this update. So another thing that did come with this update that uh, probably is my favorite is you can actually buy and sell things from uh, businesses in an invite only lobby. Now, uh, see, I'm, I'm at my master terminal so, uh, right now, and there are a lot of things that you can, you know, just, just normal things that you can buy stock for and sell. And, um, like my gun running supplies, I can, I can click to enter. I can just resupply right here. Steal supplies or buy supplies, whatever. Um, buy upgrades to, or, no, not that. But, just, you know, you, you can do it all in an invite only session. Now, this works for, you know, anything, any business, anything, cocaine lockup, anything. Counter for cash, special cargo. Um, vehicle cargo, air freight cargo, you can all do this in an invite only session. Um, with another thing being said, well, let me, let me get out of the seat and pull up my um, phone here. <clears throat> with that being said, if I go to my emails, there are a limited time bonus. J the, uh, this isn't, I don't, this is part of the update, but this is just for a limited time. For a limited time, bikers, executives, gun runners, and nightclub owners get two times payout for biker club challenges, club work, clubhouse contracts, and member challenges, and uh, two times payout for VIP challenges and VIP work. So anybody that is into that kind of stuff, um, I would very much suggest uh, doing that. And, um, yeah, but you can now buy and sell from invite-only sessions. I've been waiting for this feature for so long. And, yeah, we finally got it. So, um, thank you, Rockstar. So, another thing, um, from this update is the Sparrow got a huge buff while the Mark II got a huge nerf. Now, I am very grateful for this because, I mean, I don't really use my Mark II that much. And people that use it kind of ruin the game for me. But, um, it's your personal preference. I mean, if you like the Mark II, um, I, I'm sorry for you, but the Sparrow, it's getting a huge buff. So, or it already did with this new update. So, that's great. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an armor buff. I'm pretty sure it's an armor buff and a speed boost. And the, um, Mark II's market some, uh, missiles, I'm pretty sure they're less accurate. And, yeah, so, in overall, this is just a great, um you know, way to help their game out because everybody really hates Mark II's, but, um, let's get into the next thing. Alright, so another new thing, um, with the properties is, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think these are new. Uh, they are called Stilt Apartments. Um, they, usually the highest one goes for around 800,000, and they range all the way down to around the 500,000s, I believe. We're gonna go ahead and check. No, they range all the way down to 449,000, but the most expensive one is the $800,000 uh, one, and personally, I like the 762,000 one the most, uh, probably the 727,000 actually, but um, yeah, they look very, very nice, I'm pretty sure these are new, but if I'm, I'm wrong, like, you guys can go ahead and correct me. I'm sorry for giving you false information, but I'm pretty sure these are new. Um, but, you know, they all come with a 10-car uh, garage, so that is amazing. Um, but I personally like these over the custom apartments. Um, I mean, I do have a custom apartment, but these look just, like, real nicer. Um, I don't know what their interior looks like, but uh, if I do buy one, I will make sure to put it in this video. So, if you come into your bunker, there is a new car. Uh, or not a car, it's more like a truck. It kind of looks like a military truck. And it is just excess um, weaponry, I think it's called, that you can uh, sell to ammunition. And I really don't know what it is, but you can go up to the door and hit right on D-pad. Once again, if you are, uh, like, on another console, whatever you need to press, um, that will allow you to get into this. But, uh, yeah, right. it's going I to give you a call for Angel 14. Let me just call it and get out of that. And then you can go to ammunition to sell this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, um, or just speed up the video until I get there. Um, so, yeah, I'll unfreeze it whenever I get there.
Alright, so we are approaching the ammunition, and uh, I just realized that there's going to be some guys chasing you, which they didn't, they didn't really catch up to me, so if you just keep on driving and don't crash, they won't catch up to you. But um, yeah, I just pulled in the driveway of this and on the yellow circle, and I got $150,000 from that. That is a lot of money just for that um, that little mission you get. So... Yeah, so there's 150 gram right there. That is part of the new update. So if you do have a bunker and you go into that, you will have that truck, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know how that spawns yet. Um, and then Age of 14 will give you a message, message good work. The funds have just been cleared. Should be with you now. So, that is a good bit of, uh, you know, just cash just for delivering something as close as that was. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and steal this car. And we're going to go ahead and check out the rest of it. Alright guys, but I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, if, you, if this did help, you make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You don't really have to, it's just kind of showing me that you like the content that I'm putting out. Uh, if I did miss anything, make sure to put that in the comments. I am so sorry if I did miss anything though, because once again, I am just kind of exploring this with you guys. I'm not like fully familiarized with this update. Um, but... I, you know, tried to cover all the bases of it. I'm pretty sure I did. But, uh, if you guys want me to do any specific glitches on games or just gameplay on games in general, you can put that in the comments. Also, if you guys want to play with me or have any questions, you can also put that in the comments. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be all for this video as I'm, you know, crashing my jet while going towards the moon. But, uh, yeah. Uh, until then, let's go out.